Welcome Delta Traders. Today we're going to talk about the instant download, the instant setup. Now, if you're with Delta Group and you're just watching the webinar every day and utilizing Transact to either simulate trading or to do live trading, that's okay. But some of you want to be able to flip back and forth between your charts and to modify your charts and those kinds of things like that. And that's the software that I provide in a custom package. We'll be looking at downloading the custom package in a, a, a video uh, that's after this video. In this video, we're just going to look at the instant download, look at your instant ID, uh, talk about your instant subscription for a second, and then set up transact data feed and setup. Okay? When you download the instant software, you'll have uh, usually a 30-day trial period, and then you have to actually subscribe to Ensign. That's $39 or $49 a month. It's not bad. Just uh, consider it a, a cost of doing business. It's less than a phone bill. So it's very cheap, inexpensive, but it's one of the most powerful software packages out there. As far as I'm concerned, if you're trading futures, you won't need any other software package for charts than Ensign. Ensign is fantastic. Um, once you get to the Ensign software site, uh, this is the front page, you'll want to go to Downloads, and then next to Ensign 10 Charting Software, you'll see a Download button. You'll click on the Download button, and it'll download the um, Ensign software setup package. Uh, go ahead, run through a normal procedure of, of, of software setup, and then uh, move forward. The one of, or one of the common problems that, that people have is they'll accidentally down the Ensign Windows charting software. They think they have Windows, so they think naturally Ensign for Windows. Uh, this is not the case. This is, you do not want Ensign Windows. You want the Ensign 10 charting software. Okay. Uh, on the Ensign site, if you should happen to need any help downloading the software or loading the software, uh, they can be contacted. Uh, if you click on Contact Us up here in the main menu, you can you can see their contact information. They're happy to help you do anything. But it's relatively simple, straightforward. You just download the setup package, and then you 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 uh, go ahead and install it. Now you will need an Ensign ID eventually and we'll talk about that uh, uh, here in a little bit and where to find your Ensign ID you may have in the in your correspondence with Ensign when you when you subscribe and set up your software uh, you'll receive an Ensign ID and, and all of that if you have problems you need to call Ensign so your Ensign ID will be separate than your Transact ID uh, two separate things okay so like I said go to downloads download the Ensign charting software package and, and go ahead and install it once you install uh, Ensign software, um, you're going to open it up, and you're going to get something like this. It looks just like this. And this is your Ensign dashboard or your console, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. The thing you need to do is set up your data feed, and you do that by going to uh, Setup in the main menu. There's a little chevron down here underneath the word feeds. Click on the chevron and then click data feeds. Okay? Your data feeds window will appear. You'll notice that you have an XF or FXCM data feed. You could disconnect that one if you want to um, by clicking the connect box and removing that check mark. Okay? Uh, but we won't deal with that right now. We're just going to go down to Transact Futures. Uh, Transact Futures right here. Uh, when you click on Transact Futures, you're going to put in symbols in the symbol list over here to the right. I've already typed them in. The three symbols you want is ES space pound sign F. That's Echo Sierra space pound sign F. Foxtrot, okay, ES pound sign F. Then you want the same letters, except without a space. So it's ES pound sign F. Then you want ESM4, 
The M is June and the 4 is 2014, uh, which is the year that we're in. If you want to know what, you're, you're going to put in your current symbol. Since this is, I'm doing this video in May of 2014, we're working on the, the June symbol. Um, after June, we're going to work on the next uh, uh, quarter symbol. So you need to know what symbol that you need. I have ESM4 here, but if you're doing this past June of 2014, you're going to be using a different symbol. Okay? So you want those three symbols there. You want to click on Auto Connect, Auto Add Symbol, and Use New Feed and Interface. If you don't have Use New Feed and Interface in, then you have this information showing. So you want to click, put an X in there, and you're going to use the New Feed and Interface and you're going to up here next to the connect box you're going to click configure because you're going to want to configure that you configure it by putting in your user ID your password and your account number you're going to be in either live mode or demo mode depending on whether your transact account is funded or not if your transact is funded you're going to be using live even though you might think you're using demo because you're on your ladder and you're not ready to trade live yet, if you have funded your transact account, you'll use the live mode. If you haven't, you'll use the demo mode. If your setup doesn't work, then you're going to need to call in some software and they'll walk you through the setup. Okay, once you try it. Uh, your protocol is going to be UDP. Okay, I'm going to move this off the screen so that I can put in my username and information. I don't need to be displaying that to everybody on the planet. Just give me a moment here. Alright, and I'll close that window. I'm going to unconnect the connect box. Then I'm going to reach to put a check in it. It's going to say connecting. And it may take a while to connect. But once it connects, it's going to say online. And you're going to see a little blue status bar there. And it tells you your feed is ES pound sign F. That's your futures feed for the S&P E-mini 500. And there we have a good data feed, folks. So review this video. Take these steps. And... Um, if you have a problem and you can't connect and it, it just keeps saying connecting and it won't connect, uh, give Ensign a call and they will step you through this process. That's all you have, that's all you have to do. Sometimes you have to click connect and, and disconnect. One of the things I mentioned earlier is they may ask you for your Ensign user ID or your Ensign ID. And the where you find your Ensign ID is if you click on setup, in the main menu, go to system, click the little chevron, go to security, you'll see your instant ID right there. Okay? Your instant ID will be listed right there. So you go to setup, system, and then security to find your instant ID. They may ask you for that for your call when you call. Alright? Now just to recap just a little bit, in order once you upload instant, I'm sorry, download instant, and then go through the instant setup you're going to have to set up your data feed, your transact data feed. And you go to Setup, Feeds, Data Feeds. You're going to click on the Transact Futures here. You're going to make sure the Auto Connect Correct button, or Auto Connect button is in there. I like to have Warn on No Feed, uh, Auto Add Symbol, and Use New Feed and Interface. Click the Configuration button, type in your Transact username, password, and uh, transact n account number. So it's your transact username, password, and account number because it's a transact data feed. Then you make sure you click the connect button and it goes online. If it doesn't, you need to call Ensign. All right? If you need further clarification, obviously you can call us, but uh, chances are uh, if you can't get this working, I'll have you call Ensign. So that's it. Um, you'll need to get your subscription. You know, you might get seven days free from Ensign. You might get 30 days free. It depends on the, the promotion that they're doing, what they're doing at the time. 
but eventually you're going to need your Ensign software if you want to utilize, you know, utilize your charts without depending on me and the webinar to do that. Well, this is Delta Trading. Uh, watch our next video on downloading your custom packages so you can get your charts to look just like mine. And we ride the range of change. Have a good day.